my child. So, welcome to a beautifully blustery, snowy morning. I don't think it'll last long. Hope it doesn't last long because dad's coming pulling a giant trailer. You know, trailer brakes are sketchy enough as it is, let alone with a bunch of ice on the road. So, what uh, the the helper and I are gonna do is go in and get the fire lit inside, start warming it up, and then we're gonna come and get the fires lit outside, start burning it down, yeah. then I'll begin fueling the trucks and uh, equipment so that we have enough go-go juice to get the job done today. You see some ducks? Oh, Canadian geese. That's what the hunters were after. So, you ready? Uh -huh. Okay. Sexy. All right, so <coughs> dad's here. Fire's more or less burned out, although it's uh, <laughs> heated up those rocks so much I can't get near it. I'll have to wait till everything dies down and then I can restack it. The idea is to get this thing out of here, and if we can, just get that thing forward. He's gonna blade some of this so I can get the rock crusher out of the way. <coughs> then uh, we're gonna Try to flatten out the road some. We might use the excavator to bucket some of this fine silt up on top of the rocks and then he'll spread and smooth it and try to work it down in between. So, I can hear the dozers coming. I better get my button gear. So what dad's doing here is uh, grading that hump out and nice long pushes while I beat my head against the wall trying to get the excavator to start. Till, with some ether, I finally did. And then after 10 minutes of warming up, it would move, sort of. And then it moved fine. Uh, I don't know, it needs some love. This is the rock shelf that I wanna start when it comes to uh, the drilling. So we were just cleaning this off and I would I would plop the stuff in front of dad and he'd push it and uh, It seemed to work pretty well. I mean, it's, it's it's a little slow But it's not as slow as it was when I was moving and picking and moving and picking and moving and picking But it worked pretty well After lunch, once I got the machine started again, which uh, took a bit, brought it down, and we basically just did the same thing, only it's a little farther away and harder for you to hear. He pushed from behind that tree, which is an area that I struggled to get, and then I would flip and, and stack it basically as far as I possibly could. We then more or less dug up the top 18 inches or so, and he would roll the rock, and uh, we would mix the rock with that dirt. That way, everything will sort of pack in, lock the whole mess together, and it should give us a really nice roadbed surface. We'll see how she settles in the winter. It's pretty cool. That's the freeze line. So it's at that elevation. You can see the fog hanging in our hill too. But it's at that elevation that it drops below freezing. We're right there. This was supposed to be a decent day. One of the last good ones. Yeah. I want to be a weatherman, so I don't have to tell the truth anymore. 
I know, it's, it's not an exact science. Lots of love to weathermen. So we're, we're back down here. The uh, excavator is running like a fat horse screws. Gonna have to work on that, but it is amazing to see what Dad can do with just a short amount of time. So I better move this thing. We got a tremendous amount done. The whole upper area, and I really should have taken video of it, but we worked till dark, so you'll have to wait till next time. The whole upper area is clear, it's flat. We packed it and smoothed it. It is absolutely ready. And I just asked Dad if he'd clean off that big sheet of bedrock for me stack all that dirt and then make a parking area down there so that I can stick the excavator on it. Oh, the excavator is not running good. Doesn't want to start. Uh, start, die, start, die, start, die, start, die. As best I can tell, the glow plugs aren't working properly. That's probably the first place. And uh, then the fuel. Really need to um, figure out the fuel issue. It's got no horsepower of any kind once it starts. It won't even rev up. You have to just fight it and fight it and fight it. Well, once it revs up, she's good to go. Anyways, it was a good day. I was appreciative of Dad bringing the cat out, especially on a, a crappy day with crappy roads, and to uh, work till dark. I mean, that was fantastic. We got so very, very much done, and it shows you, you know, an excavator do a lot of things, but it's not a dozer, and the... Uh, the quality of work left behind is, is amazing. As I said, it's pretty, and you'll have to wait to see it because, well, it's just the way it is.